a short documentary of the Integrated Adaptive Livelihoods Initiative project evaluation, conducted from 1st November to 13th of November 2017. This documentary report is produced by Team Solutions Africa at the request of Caritas Nyeri. The comments contained herein reflect the opinions of the evaluators only. The documentary captures the findings of external evaluators Team Solutions Africa contracted by Caritas Nyeri to conduct an ex-post evaluation of the Integrated Adaptive Livelihoods Initiative project. The Integrated Adaptive Livelihoods Initiative project was carried out from 1st of August 2016 to 30th of September 2017. The project was implemented and managed by Caritas Nyeri with funding from Caritas Germany. The evaluation established that there was a good working partnership between the Integrated Adaptive Livelihoods Initiative project and other projects by Caritas Nyeri and various stakeholders. The project targeted the vulnerable members of the society living in Kambudanga, Weyumeririe, Kanan and Matangi villages of Chumvi sublocation in Laikipia County of Kenya. The regions targeted by the project experienced dry weather conditions that greatly contribute to the perennial food shortage. The project sought to improve food security, help beneficiaries live dignified lives and enhance their livelihoods. Three specific goals would make this possible. One, improving food production through promotion of DECs, that is drought escaping crops. Two, rain harvesting and vegetable farming by micro-irrigation through the use of drip kits. And three, through enterprise diversification. One, improving food production through promotion of DECs, drought escaping crops. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The introduction of DECs went a long way in solving the problems of perennial food shortage caused by inadequate rainfall. The farmers practice food farming, planting of trees, and grass farming for hay production. The farmers were given seeds for DECs, and the Project Tree Nursery had three seedlings that farmers collected and planted on their farms after being trained on the importance of planting trees. I was helped by Caritas with these three tomatoes. I was given seven seed drinks and I bought more because I had a vision. I saw that their vision was life and I felt that I am, I am supposed to have some more tree tomatoes and as you can see, they are doing very well. Farmers used gutters and water ponds for rainwater harvesting. The harvested rainwater was then used for domestic purposes and micro-irrigation in the kitchen gardens through the use of drip kits and the heat pump. The enterprise diversification. Some of the farmers now no longer have to go seeking for casual labor as they are able to work on their farms and produce enough for domestic use and surplus for sale. For example, some farmers reported having sold vegetables and fruits from their kitchen gardens. They are very good. And in fact, with my family, I cannot be able to finish them. I ha I'll eat some and some I'll put some money in my pocket. I am very, very happy with Caritas for that eye opener they gave us. Challenges in the project. The project was not without challenges. Farmers in the project faced various challenges during the project, with the main ones being one, destruction of crops by wild animals that invade the farms at night. Notably, elephants were a menace to crops planted by farmers near the ranches, while the ranch owners pressured by the various stakeholders have made efforts and erected electric fences around the ranches in an effort to contain the wild animals, pastoralists destroyed the fences in an effort to access the pasture-rich ranches. This leaves gaps that allows elephants and monkeys to easily roam out of the ranches into the farms. This is a footprint of an elephant. Elephants came here at night and uh, as you can see this is their footprint 
And if you see right up here, they broke this tree tomato while trying to pass through. And they are bringing a lot of damage because as you can see, this is also a tree tomato that is broken. And as if you can see right inside here, the tomarillos are very ripe, uh, they are ripening. And the biggest challenges of those wild animals. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Two, adverse weather conditions. Despite having dam liners and rip kits, the first season covered by the project recorded minimal rainfall that led to drying up of the crops in the farms with no water in the water ponds. Three, pests. Dolicos, which initially showed great potential in expected yields, were affected by pests that destroyed their pods. The attack was severe than initially anticipated and it significantly reduced the levels of realized and expected yields. The provision of means to harvest and store water has provided beneficiaries with exactly what they needed to kickstart a change in the way they conduct farming and manage their farms. It is evident that the Integrated Adaptive Livelihoods Initiative project has realized its goals and the results are sustainable going forward.